good spot down here to film. It's definitely pretty windy today, so I hope my microphone isn't picking up too much of the wind. But I tried to come down here into this little gully um, to block out the wind a little bit. And I think it's working pretty well. So I thought it would be good for me to just come out here and just kind of process some of the things that I have been experiencing. Last night we came off of our call night and so I got home around 8 p.m. and I had to go to bed. I should have gone to bed probably around 9 but I had to take that time to just decompress and do something that wasn't medicine related because I was just holding all this tension in my body and I was walking around really fast and I was eating really fast. I knew that I wouldn't sleep well if I didn't take just a little bit of time in an hour or two just to come back into my body and get out of my head and get out of my fast paced uh, kind of mode. <laughs> so I actually just watched a movie with my boyfriend and hung out with my cat and my bird and we looked at our garden and we just kind of like talked about other things, other things that weren't medicine related um, and some things that were medicine related, like that's something we really bond over. So although I kind of lost a few hours of sleep and um, I have kind of been in a sleep deficit, I think I still got better quality sleep and deeper sleep just from having um, a little bit of stress relief. And Candy's providing my stress relief right now as well. getting impatient. <laughs> By becoming super efficient, I just kind of sacrifice being present in the moment. <laughs> One second. <laughs> She's telling me to be present right now. Um, I sacrifice like being present in the moment when I'm just moving really fast and then I kind of forget to notice those things that are going on outside of my head. So it's also really important just to slow down also while I'm in the hospital because I want to be present with my patients. It was a really good lesson for me earlier because I got to spend some time with one of these patients who was just such a joy to talk to. And they gave me just such a wonderful compliment saying that I was so kind and I was so willing to listen to them and it just made me feel so good. And I was like, this is what I love. Like, This is what I love about medicine. This is why I'm here. And it kind of reminded me to slow down and just kind of like enjoy things for what they are and enjoy the moments and not just um, think about checking things off my list. So I think my goal for tonight is just to kind of walk slowly and just kind of notice everything that I'm seeing and hearing and you know what Candy is telling me. <laughs> right now she's probably telling me she wants to go back to her dinner but that's okay. She's she's better out here where she's safe from the flies. I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a little bit and kind of just do some stillness meditation. And then I'll just kind of get up and do some sitting meditation. These look like mouse teeth. This must be like an owl's nest or something. This is cool.
spontaneous trail ride. That's one of the awesome things about being out here at this ranch is there's just such great people and they're so fun to ride with and you can kind of just hop on and get out on the trails at a moment's notice. So that was so fun. So I'm actually just going to head back to the ranch now and I feel like I just had a really good time out here just kind of clearing my head and just having some time to myself and just kind of grounding out here in the desert. Hope you guys can hear this bird. So it was a little bit difficult filming while I was riding, so a lot of the film might be pretty shaky. We just were having a lot of fun galloping and trotting and kind of using these great trails out here. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, you guys. It's always such a joy for me to just walk and talk with my horse. Just kind of get the thoughts out of my head and just kind of to take some time to be in nature and, and just kind of feel its silence and kind of ground myself. It's a little difficult filming with my horse and I'm still kind of learning how to balance the camera and everything. And <laughs> she definitely has a lot of movement and kind of pulls me around a little bit. So we're working on it. <laughs> But this is really good bonding for us, and we're just kind of learning about each other and just kind of growing as partners. And I've had her for about 13 years now, and I'm still just learning so much about her. And she just teaches me so much about life, so much about patience, just so much about how to listen and just kind of how to observe. Because I think a lot of the times as humans, we think we always know what is right and what is best and we kind of forget to just observe and let things teach us and so I think that's what is really good about um, my partnership with Candy is she's really good about teaching me things. <laughs> Thank you so much for just being with me and being present and just kind of trying to get back to basics and be close to the earth and close to nature and close to our animals. I'm just so happy to make these and help bring other people some peace and some nature and some grounding. Let me know what you guys think and if you have any peaceful places you like to go to kind of just get out of your head. So join me next time.